The big picture. What is the cycle? The menstrual cycle is a roughly 28 day, though it can range from 21 to 35 days hormonal dance orchestrated by the brain and ovaries to prepare the body for a potential pregnancy. It involves to primary organs, ovaries, the female gonads that house the exocytes and produce the hormones estrogen and progesterone, uterus womb, the organ that will nourish and house a developing fetus. Its inner lining is called the endometrium. The cycle is divided into two main phases, separated by the key event of ovulation. Phase 1, the follicular phase pre-ovulation timing. Days 1 to 13 of a 28-day cycle. Day 1 is the first day of your period. Main goal, to mature an egg follicle and rebuild the uterine lining. Step-by-step -step process. Menstruation days 1 to 5. The cycle begins with menstrual bleeding. This occurs because the previous cycle did not result in a pregnancy. Levels of the hormones estrogen and progesterone drop, signaling the thickened uterine lining endometrium to shed and exit the body through the vagina. This is your period. The brain signals the ovaries starts around day one. The pituitary gland in the brain starts secreting follicle stimulating hormone FSH. FSH travels through the bloodstream to the ovaries. Follicle development days 1 to 13. Inside the ovaries are thousands of tiny sacs called follicles, each containing an immature egg. FSH stimulates a group of these follicles a cohort to begin maturing, rising estrogen days 5 to 13. As the follicles grow, they produce increasing amounts of estrogen. This hormone has two crucial jobs, uterus. It commands the endometrium to thicken again with blood and nutrients, creating a lush, welcoming environment for a potential fertilized egg. Brain. When estrogen levels reach a high enough peak around day 12 to 13, it triggers a massive surge of a second hormone from the pituitary gland, luteinizing hormone LH. The pivotal event. Ovulation timing. Approximately day 14 of a 28-day cycle. What happens? The LH surge is the direct cause of ovulation. It causes the most mature follicle called the dominant follicle to swell rapidly and suddenly rupture, releasing its mature egg from the surface of the ovary. The egg S journey. The egg is swept up by the finger-like fimbria of the nearest falloparin tube. This is the site where fertilization by sperm must occur, typically within 12 to 24 hours after ovulation. Physical signs. Many people can feel ovulation through symptoms like a brief, sharp pain or dull ache on one side of the abdomen middle schmers. A change in cervical mucus. It becomes clear, stretchy, and slippery like raw egg white, perfect for helping sperm swim. A slight rise in basal body temperature, BBT, that occurs after ovulation. Phase 2. The luteal phase post-ovulation. Timing. Days 15 to 28. Main goal, to prepare and maintain the uterine lining for implantation of a fertilized egg. Step-by-step -step process. The corpus luteum forms. After the follicle ruptures and releases its egg, it collapses and transforms into a new, temporary structure called the corpus luteum yellow body. Progesterone production. The corpus luteum S job is to pump out large amounts of the hormone progesterone and some estrogen. Progesterone's role. It acts on the already thickened endometrium, making it secretory. This means it causes glands in the lining to secrete nutrients to sustain an early embryo before the placenta forms. It also causes a sustained rise in basal body temperature. Thickens cervical mucus to form a plug, preventing bacteria from entering. Prevents any other eggs from maturing during this cycle. The crossroads around day 20 to 24. The corpus luteum has a built-in lifespan of about 10 to 14 days unless it receives a signal to stay alive. If pregnancy occurs, if the egg is fertilized and implants in the uterus, the developing embryo starts producing the hormone HCG human chorionic gonadotropin. This hormone acts like LH, telling the corpus luteum to keep producing progesterone to maintain the pregnancy. 
This is the hormone detected by pregnancy tests. If no pregnancy occurs without HCG, the corpus luteum degenerates and dies around day 22 to 24, hormone drop and new cycle. The death of the corpus luteum causes a sharp decline in both progesterone and estrogen. Without these hormones to sustain it, the blood-rich uterine lining can no longer hold on. It breaks down, ready to be shed. This drop in hormones marks the end of the luteal phase and the beginning of a new cycle day one with the start of menstrual bleeding. Summary table for clarity phase days approx. Key hormones ovarian activity uterine activity follicular 113 FSH estrogen rising follicles mature an egg menstruation then endometrium rebuilds. Ovulation approximately 14 LH surge egg is released from ovary. An a luteal 15 minus 28 progesterone corpus luteum forms. Endometrium is maintained, then breaks down. Key takeaways ovulation is the release of an egg. Menstruation is the shedding of the uterine lining. The cycle is driven by hormones FSH, LH, estrogen, progesterone in a precise feedback loop. The follicular phase length can vary greatly from person to person. This is what makes cycles irregular. The luteal phase is typically very consistent, almost always lasting between 12 to 14 days. The entire process is about preparation. The ovary prepares an egg and the uterus prepares a home. If pregnancy doesn't happen, the home is cleaned out menstruation and the entire preparation process starts over.